All right, so let's get started with uh, creating this pivot chart. Um, and what I intended is that the first pivot table that you created is actually going to be the basis for this pivot chart. So uh, let me show you what I mean by that. So we're going to come back to the worksheet. And the, the first pivot table we created is the one with the quarters on the left hand side is the first, second, third, and fourth quarter. And then, of course, the cities. And then um, the, uh, the center values here is the sum of total sales. All right, so that's what we're talking about. So here's how we do that. We select anywhere inside this pivot table, right? And then we go to um, Analyze, select on Pivot Chart, and there's some options, right? I want to align. And here is the first one. That's exactly what I want. And um, you can see it has several lines. Each line represents a store. And then the left-hand column, of course, is the percentage. And the bottom is the time value, which is a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right. I want this to be in a different worksheet. All right. So um, here we go. Let's go back to the instructions. Let's make sure we get this correct. There's a worksheet that um, we have. It's going to be called the store chart. And this has to be uh, placed into that particular one. So uh, let's go back to this. Let's create that worksheet. And that worksheet is going to, right after the store pivot, it's going to be called store chart. Let's go back to the pivot table. Select on the chart. Come up here to design. And we're going to move the chart, and we're going to move that chart to the store chart. Okay. Boom. Now we're going to go ahead and, and put this in place. We're going to make sure that things are um, arranged as we should. Um, the first thing is, is that this number on the left-hand side, um, I want to make sure that um, I, I don't like all those extra decimal places. So I'm going to come down here to number. And I'm just going to make those decimals to zero. And then also, I want to go ahead and put a, a title and for the axes and also for the chart. All right. So let's go see what we had here in the example. So it's percent sum total sales of store by quarter. So come here. Percent sum of sales by store by quarter. Okay. And then... Um, what was the next one? So percent total sales. Okay, and the bottom should be the quarter. All right, the last thing we want to do is that um, one of the things about data visualization that's very important is that this legend should be helpful in reading the values here. Now, what's not very clear is that here we have a light blue line, and if I look, this is actually the Power City free stand. All right, so what we really want is we want the visualization so that way this top line is also the top line here. And given that um, the color may not necessarily match up with other things, um, this is a mistake that can be had. I'm not even sure that is. Power City Freestand at the top. One way of finding out is to select on it and ho by hovering over it, I can see, oh yeah, so there is the value here. It says Power City Freestand. So I know that um, my legend here is not sorted appropriately for um, this data. So what I need to do is I need to change my legend so that way I can, it'll help me read this chart a little better. So the good news is, is that when we come back to our pivot table, right, um, we can make changes here, but we really don't need to. But we're going to make a, a basic assumption about this chart is that if you look at the sum total of sales and you rank it highest to least or lowest, it should correspond roughly with the sequence of the um, of the stores based on the far right hand side of each line. So Excel gives us an option here. 
we can just simply, you can sort it by name, A to Z, Z to A, or we can do more sort, sort options, which is really what we want. And we want to sort it by sum of total sales. Actually, I'm in the wrong spot. I want to put highest, which is going to be Z to A, sum of total sales here. Boom. So now we should be able to see how this corresponds to the sequence of, of lines that are here. And so one way of checking that is to hover over the top one. That is Power City Freestand. That's perfect. And I'm going to come here and hover over the last one, and that's River City Strip Mall. Right? So that's the last one here. And so now the second one is North Town Strip Mall, and so that's the second one there and so forth. So this legend is now sorted based on the values on the far right-hand side of the line. So that way, if a person is coming and they're trying to figure out how this legend helps them read the chart, those two things uh, coincide. So that's a very important part. Let's make a couple of edits. I'm going to make this bold, make this bold, and make this bold. Um, I'm probably going to move this around a couple times. Um, but I'm going to make sure it's clicked into the cells. I know over here I'm going to put some slicers, and I know here and here I'm just going to make it a very narrow column so things are going to fit in like that. And uh, the other thing that I can do if I really wanted to, um, I can put a, a solid line around the entire chart, give it a, a black line. And okay, I'll modify that a little bit more. Let's go to the next steps in the assignment. So that is pretty much the chart. Now looking at um, what we have here, we want to be able to create uh, some slicers. So um, we're going to go back to the first pivot table that we created, and we're going to make slicers based on location competition fast food and competition other all right so let's come back here go to the pivot tables we're back on the first one now slicers can be easily uh, put in once you're selected on it you'll have pivot table tools at the top hit on analyze say insert slicer right and we wanted uh, competition and location boom all right so our three slicers are there uh, I'm going to hold down uh, shift and select on all three. Hit control X. To It's a cut option. Go back to the store chart. Hit control V. By the way, uh, when I use control for those Mac users, you can use a um, command. So then I'm going to move these up into locations up here. And. Okay, uh, a couple things I'm going to do to make this a little bit wider. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move these out. The other thing that could also help is if I uh, made some of these double column, I'm going to do the competition fast food, go to sli uh, slicer options, make that a double column. Competition other, make that also a double column. So now I can see some, some of everything. I am going to modify this and bring this down one hair. So that way I can modify this and bring this down. So now this gives us an option that if I select on several of these, right? If I select on big box, I can see which stores are big box stores. And I can see that they're sum of sales by quarter. Right? I can clear that filter. I can do uh, where there's one to three uh, fast food stores local to the area. I can kind of get a view of those. And also if there's uh, stores with uh, 21 to 30 stores that are other than fast food, that are in competition so i can kind of see those as well so that gives us some options to be able to make some modifications to this chart and that really helps us with some uh some an analytics so with this um you can probably make some modifications to make this a little bit prettier um, but i would i would tell you that um look through some of these things and look for some different relationships maybe there is something that is interesting here, and that's what your narrative should be about. So this is a great dashboard, especially for executives that want to ask questions and run some queries um, and then be able to make some decisions about what's going on in their, their store. So this is a helpful tool, and um, I hope you enjoy making it with part of this project.